happy new year to all. In every country of the world, New Year's Day is a holiday. We take a day of rest with family and friends in preparation to begin a New Year's activities. Everywhere in every country, in the heart of every person is the silent wish for peace, happiness, and prosperity for the coming year. But peace, happiness, and prosperity cannot be isolated to one thing only, or at the expense of others. Real peace, happiness, and prosperity must be and can only be for everybody. Peace, happiness, and prosperity, and in society, and in the family of nations, the task within our own selves. Just as the forest is green only when each tree is green, each and every person must use their time of life to cultivate the quality of their own life and so to raise the quality of life in society. Right now the time is passing by. And what am I doing? This Buddhist role make us wake up to the precious value of time. If New Year is the dawn of a new year of life, if month, week, day, hour, and minute is so precious, how one's past cannot be regained. Let us resolve to use our time well. Let not time pass without benefit. Do not delay to tomorrow what good we can do today. I suggest for teaching that are called the valuable tool for enable that to be successful. 1. Inner contentment and joy in activity. 2. Energy and diligence. 3. Broad awareness to get the with attention to detail. Four, inquiry, study, and knowledge. If one is inwardly and outwardly joyful, one does not seek for scientific satisfaction in activity, and one is an inspiration to other to work happily together. If one has inner energy, one can work mentally without scientific, which arises from Tiredness. If one had brought expanded awareness and one does not make mistakes and took it there with the ability to focus the attention sharply, one does not overlook the fine details that might be important for other people. If one does not believe blindly or just the situation too heavily, but had the habit of inquiry and study to be knowledgeable in one field of work, then one can be truly creative. Every day, everyone must put aside just a few minutes to meditate in silence, rest the body and mind, and allow the Dhamma of joy, energy, awareness, and inquiry to blossom in a natural way, fuller if a wet of time, successful based on natural dhamma or natural law are the steps of progress for real peace, happiness, and prosperity in individual, family, and natural life. I read a peace and blessing to all. May you already at peace and joy throughout the coming new year.